Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Lucas, and this is Heart of Iron 4. We are gonna start off a little new campaign here in Heart of Iron um, for the first time. And we are gonna play as, I just decided, we're gonna play as Spain. And then we're gonna try to fight on the Republican side in the upcoming Civil War. And I'm sure that's gonna be fine. So we're gonna play in the regular, just to um, keep it simple. I mainly want to show off the game and see if there's any interest and not make it too difficult for us uh, to start off right away. And we're gonna not play on Iron Man and we're not gonna play with historical AI focuses. I think it's more fun to play without them. So yeah, let's just get into it. For you that aren't so well versed in the Heart of Iron series, it's a... Um, um, World War II game and in the beginning you have to set up your, your country basically and uh, there's a lots of lots of events just like pretty much every paradox game uh, which are made to somewhat mirror the real historical um, events that happened in this time so in uh, in a couple of months to uh, about a year's time there's gonna be a civil war in Spain and we're gonna have to fight it and hopefully we're gonna succeed most likely we are but um, you never know um, in the beginning we're gonna choose the um, electric electronic tree here in the tech tree to speed up our reach actually we're not I forgot we're not a regular nation in this we're actually a nation that's gonna fight soon so it's much more important to get your fighting capacity up before um, for the conflict starts so we can't get anything more here. We could try to get the Doctrine, we'll see about that soon. Um, not really any any of these com any of the companies we want to uh, unlock. We might take a look at that later on. We don't... I don't we, I think we have the capacity to produce any tanks in time, so we're not going to do that either. We could upgrade our artillery, we're going to keep that in mind. And then we could do this as well. I, think actually um, upgrading our machining tools might be good. They will make sure that we produce more in our factories in um, the upcoming fight. Uh, this isn't so important right now, we'll get back to that later. So I think we're gonna go with better artillery. Actually, before we do that, let's check out our um, divisions. Um, yeah, they all have support artillery, so... Okay, our um, Brigada de Infanteria apparently don't, and neither do, uh, does our Caballeria. Caballeria, um, cavalry. So uh, maybe not then. But you know what? Um, it's either that or getting a doctrine. And a, a doctrine we won't be able to push out in time. So we're gonna go with the artillery. And. Um, then we're gonna have to take a look at our factories. So that's produced pretty much like this. Try to pump out as many infantry equipment as possible. Then we're also gonna try to get a few um, divisions in training. So um, when the country splits, we don't uh, lose as much um, equipment. Then our factories are gonna pump out as many. Um, military factories as they can uh, in the regions that we know that we will control. So Madrid, La Mancha, La Mancha Granada, um, and so on. We will also have Navarra, Navarre, um, but they will be around pretty much right away. Uh, or they, they can be in a way, they are quite um, exposed right here uh, since Let's if we check the states here. Since um, the nationalist Spain will get Aragon and uh, pretty much surround Navarra. So yeah. Our um, dockyards are gonna mainly focus on um, subs. I wanted subs. Uh, subs right now. And that is because... Um, well, both because they can duck under the Gib Gibraltar Strait here. I believe in a way. Um, we can take a look at that later, but anyway, I think they're gonna be useful because we're mainly gonna use them for um, convoy um, destruction. 
convoy attacks on the nationalist Spain so they don't get uh, too much support and stuff like that. Um, and then we're also gonna lower these ones to one and gonna fill up the submarines so by doing this we save any progress on these ships um, so we will gain them anyway. And then we're also gonna put them in the... let's see here. Oh, if we take all of these and um, if we go to, not Lisbon, that's Portugal. If we go over, over to this little port here, uh, Corona, and then also merge them. That way when the nation splits we will still have access to the Atlantic and can by that blockade all of um, the nationalists. Let's uh, start off the game here now. Um, we are short in some trade here, so we're gonna have to trade in some oil and aluminium. So let's trade with France because we're gonna have a border with them, so that's, that shouldn't be a problem at all. And then also chrome then. No, now it's oil. Um, I think the Soviet Union is the safest bet because I believe... Um, Uh, how do you check that? Again, um, supply maybe. Okay, I can't remember, but um, either way, uh, their uh, supply is gonna come come down this way, and we are gonna um, control this side of the straits. <coughs> Apologize for that. And then we're also gonna take all of our brigades. Vento! Assign them a field marshal and we're gonna get them to garrison Madrid. Um, this is mainly to um, centralize them all and bunch them, bunch them up a bit so that we know what they are doing. We don't have any fleet commanders, so let's appoint one, and then we're gonna go convoy ra raiding. So when the civil war breaks out, we're gonna be prepared on the seafront. So yeah, now it's just uh, pretty much a waiting game. We're gonna acc accumulate some political power. We could try to influence uh, like uh, France to make them the French commune, which happens sometimes, but I um, don't think it's really worth it. Um, that's pretty much all we could do. We we could try to uh, construct some I don't know some bunkers or stuff um, where we know the front's gonna be. But I don't think that's any real uh, idea either. Um, so the Second Republic, which we are, has proven to be a fragile existence. Manuel Azana, Azana, Azania can be present with the backing of the Popular Front, a broad coalition of left-wing groups supported by the Republicans, Communists and Anarchists. So, um, <clears throat> what's important to note here is that this is a functional democracy, pretty much. And if I remember my history correctly, um, a center-left government got voted into power and Franco decided to react by simply declaring war. And uh, actually he tried to coup uh, coup the government and uh, the local um, trade unions defended the government among others of course uh, and then um, since the left wing uh, since all of the conservative and very liberal uh, parties essentially joined Franco the republic got um, outnumbered by um, the left wing uh, groups so the left-wing parties pretty much ruled the government at the time. Um, so this is pretty much the leading up, what's leading up to that. So anyway, the right-wing opposition and comparison conservatives, monarchists and fascists is also beginning to unite for the cause of bringing down the popular front. Whichever coalition fa falls apart, their opponents are likely to take advantage of their internal conflict to launch a revolution. This election is not the final test Spain will have to endure to resolve this conflict, which we are well aware of. Uh, so either we maintain the popular front, which we're gonna do because we're gonna support the, the Republic. It's a bit shallow to just call them communists, even though a lot of communists did fight on the side of the Republic. The Republic was a, an actual democracy and not 
authoritarian state like the Soviet Union. Um, or we could support the, uh, the phalangists, as they were called, the, um, the fascists. But they, we will not do that. Instead, we're gonna do this. So let's talk some tactics while uh, this winds up. So if we check the states again, uh, Madrid here and Navarra and Catalonia, Valencia, La Mancha here. This is uh, pretty much the front we're gonna work it in the beginning. We're gonna try to, um, since the nationalist gets Aragon. First of all, let's uh, check this. Castilla, Castile. Okay, so that's uh, nationalist territory. We know we don't want them to get any more fa factories, so let's not do that. This will be built. We will be built in Extremadura, which is uh, right here, which is also nationalist territory. So we're, we're not gonna choose that one either, which is unfortunate. I would like to get gotten some some factories out, but we can always do this after the civil war has begun. So, I think we're gonna go with the army effort, we could go with political effort, but we're gonna gain political points anyway, and we're not using them for anything, so... This is actually better, we can then pump out a doctrine pretty quickly, which... Which is pretty important, actually. But anyway, back to the, um, to the tactics. So, we're gonna try to use our forces to shut this gap here, so that we entrap as many troops as possible in Aragon. Um, both because their capital in Sar is in Zaragoza at the beginning of the war and because they have a lot of troops and killing so many in the beginning, uh, overrunning them and so on, um, is quite crucial to win as the Republicans since you barely get, since you barely get any uh, support from foreign powers. We're gonna start improving relations with the Soviet Union just to make sure that they, that they do send us some troops uh, occasion occasionally. occasionally occasionally um, they don't and that's pretty much um, well it can, it can ruin the game for you the, um, the war anyway so let's try to get out some more okay so let's focus on infantry equipment um, the other stuff can manage we uh, we are so much in the red on the infantry equipment, so we're gonna have to try to work on that. As you can see, uh, our divisions are getting ready. We're not gonna uh, actually, what's it called, deploy them until um, until the war has started. Okay, so this is the war then. Uh, that's quite quickly. I've um, Once I've had to wait for like, I believe it was, was 1938, might have been the December of 1937 or something like that, so it varies quite a bit. They might have changed that though, of course. Anyway, a group of powerful generals in the armed forces have issued a pronunciamento, so a pronouncement I guess, denouncing the current government of Spain. They've launched a right-wing coup with the support of the conser conservative monarchists and the clergy. Um, and that's another thing. You often hear how the Republic and the communists and socialists and anarchists burned down churches um, at the beginning of the civil war. And this is pretty much it, but it was because the, the churches and the clergy uh, supported the fascist coup. So they didn't want their the church influence to remain. Um, a significant portion of the military has sided with these nationalists, but so far they have failed to capture any, major Spain, any Spain's major cities, with the exception of Sevilla, which is uh, down here, right? Yep. Leftist volunteers are meanwhile flocking to the banners of the Republican government, ready to support it against the rebels. These, these loyalists may be poorly trained, but no one can question their enthusiasm. The battle lines, ha battle lines have been drawn, which faction should we support? And the Republicans then. So this is at the start of the war. We've got some, um, some units here that we're gonna Organized right away. We're gonna give them a commander and We're essentially giving up Bilbao and um, Navarre uh, in the beginning. They're gonna make some uh, Progress uh, The nationalists are probably gonna encroach on the territory quite a bit and we are gonna lose well two civilian and one military factory so it's not the end of the world, but It's something and that's important to uh, recognize um and then we're gonna do pretty much everything we can 
to um, close this uh, little gap here. We can't do the. There we go. So we're gonna blitz them or spear them, as the game calls it, uh, across this gap and try to uh, entrap these units. And now that I think about it, I'm gonna do the same, but from the opposite direction here, just to make sure that it succeeds. Uh, and we're gonna fire pretty much right away, I just wanna see them line up first. We're also gonna use our fighters. Uh, the naval bomb is gonna stay home for now, we might use them if we need them in a naval battle or something. Um, the fighters... Yep, the Granada, which is um, down here, so we're gonna have to redeploy them here. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, uh, we're gonna use the fighters to gain our superiority in this battle here, just to make sure that we can actually secure this gap here. Um, then we're gonna use these forces. We're gonna use these forces to um, just hold off the enemy for now. Um, to make sure that they don't take Madrid while we uh, perform this maneuver right here. We're gonna use these forces here. This, these are international brigades, which is uh, what Orwell fought in when he. Um, Participating in the war. I know we're spending a lot of political points here, but these are um, Pretty necessary not right now, but the experience they gain will be necessary to win the war essentially So we're gonna use these to protect um, Granada which do have some factories uh, And they are gonna be backed up by these divisions as well actually And then we can extend this to like Okay, let's just do it like that. We're gonna keep it. We want to keep the lines um, closed. And here come the the heavy socialist music, the steel block music. So all these divisions are pretty much sorted out. We're gonna right. I haven't given you any orders yet, so we're gonna do something like this. Um, same with you. You know what? We can actually. Simply do that. Unify these divisions and then we can extend the line up here. And then make an offensive line pretty much to Zaragoza. Something like that. Um, you know what, when I think about it, it's pretty important that we keep these lines so they don't break into um, Navarra territory and uh, destroy our entrapment plans. So let's uh, start... Start it a bit slowly here, and then we'll um, speed it up when the first initial battles have uh, are over. So, the Spanish Civil War. The Civil War has erupted in Spain. Several generals seeking to overthrow the current government in Madrid have issued a pronunciamento. Um, the right-wing nationalist faction has occupied much of Spain, um, but not many important cities, just Sevilla, as they said. Including the overseas territories. Yeah, that's right. We lose um, uh, the part of uh, Morocco, this is right. Um, so we can't pass with boats here. Which is why we have our fleet is stuck here for some reason. I thought I told them to get out of here, but alright. Uh, I guess we can tell them to um, patrol the Mediterranean, which is something, I guess. Um, Loyalist forces and volunteers have assembled in their left-wing Republican government determined to resist the putsch to the last breath. Putsch, very German word there. Uh, the battle for Spain has begun. To victory. Here we go. Everyone ready? Okay. Uh, we're gonna keep the speed as I said and then we're gonna speed up later on. We need some steel apparently. Let's get it from France then. Right, our divisions. We have two here, so let's uh, add them to this um, um, And then we're gonna cancel them because we're not gonna have enough um, uh, Enough equipment anyway, uh, let's add them to um, To this little blitz here and hopefully they can then manage let you know what 
it's pretty important that we send these right away. Same with these guys. We have to close this gap as quickly as possible. And um, it looks like we're holding the rest of the lines, so this is looking alright for now. Okay, for some reason... Um, Great. Soviet Union sent at least one, uh, one unit. That's better than nothing. Let's hope it's um, it's some tanks. We could use that. So the Germans have uh, remilitarized the Rhineland, which was of course forbidden with the um, uh, as of the truth or uh, truth of the First World War. Um, so, yeah, the Ally France is probably going to join the Allies soon. Because of that, right. I don't know why some of these units decided that they didn't want to participate in this action here, but they did. And, oh come on, everyone, go. We really need this work. Oh, get over there, come on, come on, come on. Alright, so we got um, all of our upgrades done. Hopefully that's gonna help us in this... Um, you know what, let's zoom out, let's zoom out a bit. Um, okay, so we're gonna go with concentrated industry simply because they get, get, give us better fact, factory output and we don't have that many factories, so they are quite important. Uh, then we're gonna go with the doctrine now. And um, I'm quite tempted to go with the mass assault because we don't have a lot of um, uh, equipment, but we do have... I wouldn't say an abundance, but more manpower than we do equipment. Um, and it does give us things like supply grace and how to supply um, benefits and stuff like that. So I think we're going to do with that, go with that. And it, it also benefits our very infantry heavy army. Um, that's pretty much it. All we can do right now. Um, so I think we're gonna go with actually start the research, the electrical tree here. But anyway, that's all for this episode. Hopefully this has been uh, been an exciting first episode here. Hopefully we can close this gap in time. Um, I have my hopes up. I think we can do it, but we'll see. Uh, there's some naval battles ra raving, uh, raging here. Uh, I'm gonna can't do that for some reason. Uh, so let's, you are patrolling, so let's send this kid to patrol as well, and hopefully he'll join the battle. Anyway, that's it This that's it for this episode, and hopefully i see you next time. Please join again, please leave a like, or subscribe if you like videos like these, and if you like my channel. Anyway, see you next time, bye!